Hey guys, so we sat here at EGX Res 2014. I'm Neil D. Chris Presley. Hello. Mikey P. Over in the corner, one of our streamers. So we've been around the, the hall. Mike Stubbs is out there somewhere, and we've just met Tom Champion, one of the guys who works for Eurogamer. First time, we've not met him before, have we? Taller than he expected, I must admit. Uh, we've been around pretty much every game, because it, clearly it's not as big as. You know, Earl's Court, Eurogamer, EGX 14, which will be probably huge, and the last one, sadly, at Earl's Court. But uh, what did you think of the games, guys? Oh, just a bit buggy, but that's pre alpha, so you know you expect it. That's well, they're not all pre alpha, is that right? No, but, but what I mean is uh, I was sure, sorry, um, some of the indies that we've been in were. Astounding. So one of the first games we jumped on today was Alien Isolation and uh, we all we all had an issue with it. Mainly the map would not open up to show you where you were supposed to go from where you was. I had that, which a death from an alien um, who dragged me along the ship and at me. Pretty much <laughs> ladies' babies in me. Uh, pretty much resolved, whereas Mike on the end there, his in entire character it just, froze. It just froze and then the map kept coming up, up and going down. And so it looks like they've got some kind of maybe a map, is map issue there because mine wasn't really coming up and it looks like the map is maybe causing a freeze there somewhere so it's probably not rotating right out or open and close it, something like that. Well, he kept, he kept inserting his tail into me. Yeah, inserting <laughs> his tail. So what other games did we like? We've got replay events here, we haven't been in replay because we see them pretty much everywhere we go so we already know what's going to be there. Some of the indie games are people though, I mean... Yeah, some of the indie games like that Into the Ark looks quite... Yeah. Even, even though it was basic it was very interesting. Yeah. yeah. It, it was somewhat of a platformer and it was like a little ball, a little golden ball. So, well, that's about a year from publishing on Steam at the moment. But we quite like that, even though for its simplicity but playability, it was quite good. Oh, what was that sheet one called again? We, we, we saw uh, a game called Private Eye on the Oculus. Oh, that's pretty cool. Which, which looked okay, which was a bit uh, L.A. Noir based, but they, they didn't really call it Elaine White, it was, it was more based on the, I think it's a 1950s or 60s film called Through the Window. So that we quite enjoyed watching some of that, but obviously you're watching it in double vision because it's on the Oculus and we didn't have the Oculus actually on, which we have played, but um, so there was that there. What other games? Did, did, did anyone pick it up, up on any other indie games that stood out? Uh, oh, there was the thingy one, wasn't there? Yeah, what was it? What was the sheep one called? Oh, flocks. Flocks. Or yeah, flocks. The flockers. Yeah, the flock, flockers. That was it. It was called Flockers. Yeah, right. Which, which, so we aptly titled it Meet the Flockers because that's what we did. We actually met the game. So, um. Which, so we, we've done a recording of that one, which we will, which we'll, we'll do, a, we'll do a little, a little talk through one. I say one sheep. One. Yeah, he saved one sheep. You get 50 sheep in this game, this flockers, and he only saved one. And then the <laughs> dev went on it. I said, Could, you couldn't give us a live demo, could you? He went, yeah. 46, he saved. Made it look easy. I don't know how he lost four sheep, but he lost four somewhere. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we, met, so we met the flockers. Uh, we've been around, I mean, it's not, the, we've not been in any of the dev stuff, to be honest, because none of it's really appealing to us. You've got days. Uh, Mike Bithell, he, he's blocked me on Twitter, so didn't go and watch that. And we've got a bit of a drive home, so we're just basically enjoying a pint at the moment. He's got himself a vodka and coke, didn't even think about asking any of us, which was, which was really nice of us. In the, the four pint picture, he's not got, not, not got a straw, he's, he's not doing it right. But um, the other games, what, what else have we seen? Titan Falls here, but we've got that and we stream that, so we've not actually bothered playing on Metal playing Metal on that. Those. Right? We met up with those boys. We met Tom Champion as well. And we met somebody from YouTube, which is going to end up. Uh, were here doing signatures. I didn't know that people would want a Yogscast signature, but clearly no, there was, quite it was quite, that would have been big, yeah. I just didn't think that it was the kind of thing. I didn't think YouTubers sort of signed photographs. I mean, Syndicate being an exception, I suppose. Yeah. But clearly, Yogscast is, is every bit as big. So they had their stall and merchandise here as well. Any other games stand out? Yeah, you've got the big time for stand. Well, yeah, we said to Titanfall, I mean, we, we, we do Titanfall. Oh, Twitch only. have got a stand here as well, Twitch. Thanks for the t-shirt, you know. Yeah, cheers for the t-shirt, we've got them. Uh, 
Yeah, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey got a grey one. I got the, the proper no, I never one, got one. The, the, the green one. Hey, no, I cheated. I cheated. I got a sticker on there. No, I didn't get one. They only gave Mikey's out of sympathy, but they didn't have any girl sizes in, in purple, so they gave him the, the girly grey one. That's the that's the unisex girls one, you know. Tell them the secret. What? <laughs> so we've had an enjoyable experience, but possibly not a three-day event unless you came for the developer sessions, which is quite a long way for us to come for that. We're not we're not staying in a hotel. We have drove down from Manchester down to the NEC in Birmingham. Um, so we'll keep our eye out on a few more games. Possibly do a little bit more reporting, chuck in some photos, and we'll do a little talk over and possibly add the flockers to the end of this video but uh, for now this is gaming guys Up hill we can... Neil D Chris is Chris is sticking around so he'll be uploading some more photos and video with any luck yeah. uh, and Mike will be over at the end one of our live streamers new live streamers and uh, and that's it and we'll catch you guys very very soon see cheers bye. see you later